what was known as the Lafayette Room as the Marquis de Lafayette stayed in this room while visiting Washington following the Revolutionary War in 1784. Although a lot of people stayed in this room throughout the years, none were as special to Washington as Lafayette. And Washington commemorated Lafayette by placing his painting, done by Charles Wilson Peale, of the Marquis de Lafayette. The painting depicts the Marquis in his Continental Army uniform. The room is also one of the more impressive bedchambers in the house, as it has two windows that overlook the Potomac River. We're in the Yellow Room, which is another of the upstairs bedchambers, and this room has been occupied by multiple people in the Washington family. Eliza Park Custis, a granddaughter of Martha and a step-granddaughter of George, stayed in this room, as evident by the fact that she engraved her name in the window pane that can still be visible today. This bedroom also has a sad story. Patsy Custis, George's stepdaughter and Martha's daughter, suffered from epileptic seizures. By the time she was a teenager, the seizures got worse and worse. At the age of 17 in 1773, Patsy Custis had a seizure here in this room. George rushed to her side, but was unable to save his stepdaughter.